Find all our courses at Minded.com. In this video, we are going to learn what does it mean to say vertical and horizontal differentiation. But at first, in order to do that, we are going to design sort of a, a restaurant. I have written down a roles or, or our employees that we are going to have in a restaurant and we should order them into this nice pyramid, this authority pyramid. So let's see. We have, we have at first, we have a bartender. So we have a bartender. So let's move bartender somewhere over here. It should be probably on the bottom. Now we have a server. Well, it most likely will be somewhere next to it. So let's give it here. Now we have a dishwasher. So let's do it again somewhere over here. Then we have a chef. Then we have a chef. Then we still have this, this workforce, so it's gonna be kitchen assistant. And then we are moving. Now we already have a managers. So let's see, a kitchen manager, we have a bartender, server, dishwasher, chef, kitchen assistant. Hmm. So it seems like a kitchen manager should be somewhere, somewhere about, somewhere about here, somewhere about here. And then we have a dining room manager and that should be somewhere about here. Now we have a restaurant manager. Now we have a restaurant manager and I would even add one more. I would even add owner here and you will see why later on. So owner over here. Now let's draw it. Let's draw it. We have a bartenders which are responsible under the dining room manager server as well then dishwasher chef and kitchen assistant are responsible under the kitchen manager and then our dining room manager and kitchen manager are responsible under restaurant manager and then there is some owner who owns several restaurants and in each of them he assigned a restaurant manager so he's just communicating with this one person so there we have it he, he, we have drawn a sort of hierarchical structure within this organization and when we look at it we start to see two dimensions we have a horizontal dimension which is over which is over here so let me just call it for now let's call it just horizontal 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 dimension and then we have another one which is over here and that is of course a vertical dimension so let me for now call it just vertical vertical now let's think what differs when we go horizontally so we start over here and we first have a bartender then we move further and we have a server then we move further and we have a dishwasher then we move further and I have a chef and finally a kitchen assistant what differs is tasks so here we are moving along the tasks so here we have a tasks and that is what we call horizontal differentiation so horizontal differentiation differentiation it's horizontal differentiation is basically grouping employees and resources according to their tasks so we are grouping we are grouping according to according according to tasks and that is the whole idea behind the horizontal differentiation even if we go one level up and are moving over here we have a dining room manager and then we have a kitchen manager so still it's different kind of a task that person is is holding now, when we go to vertical dimension, let's try to see it. We have at first these, these sort of, and I will need to use a brush. So we have these sort of lower level employees. Then we have a managers and then we have a restaurant manager. And finally we have an owner. Well, what the difference is what we call a authority. So according to authority. So, and let me write it down here, authority. So we are again grouping sort of people and, and resources according to their authority. According, 
according to authority because these people right over here are responsible just for a very very small part of a restaurant bartenders are responsible only for their bar servers are responsible only for serving customers dishwashers only for washing dishes chefs only for cooking and assistants only for assisting during cooking but when you move one level up then the people over there have much more of a responsibility and much more of an authority. Kitchen manager has an authority over all these guys over here and dining room manager has authority over the whole dining room. And then when we move even one level up the, the, in the vertical dimension and we are, we are doing the vertical differentiation, differentiation, then you see that the restaurant manager has an authority and responsibility over the wall restaurant. And that is the wall trick. The horizontal differentiation is talking about grouping of people and resources according to their tasks. And then in the vertical differentiation, we are grouping and differentiating according to authority.